Birmingham Lions, American football team, Thursday night practice, 8 till 10. Everyone's out here looking to get better. The commitment is overwhelming, frankly. You could walk out into the street and ask 20 people, do you realise there's a domestic American football league in England? And probably 18 will say, not a clip. The crowd at an American football game is always second to none. Being able to go watch with the other guys is going to be amazing. We have a game against Cardiff on this home field as part of the University of Birmingham's Explosion Night, whereby we have a massive crowd, as there have been historically for the last maybe seven, eight years. You'd have thousands of students all around here. There'll be fireworks, there'll be cheerleaders. It's a massive event, so that's their big game of the year. So it's going to be, it's going to be a great show, hopefully. When we now do it by game plan, it's about executing it and understanding it. Thank you. Hands in, hands in, hands in. Lands on me, lands on three. One, two, three. Lions! You know, when you're playing against somebody else, even if you know that person personally, they're not that person when they've got the kit on, they're just something else. And you can vilify that and make it into an us v them tribal kind of thing. And that helps a lot, just being able to say, yeah, no, off the field, love that guy, one of the best friends in the world, but on the field, I'm gonna try and kill him because that's what the game is. It is the pinnacle of team sport. Everybody has to do their job and do their job to a level for it to work needs everybody pulling in the same direction. He doesn't know, look at the scoreboard. It's right there, 13-7. They are within a score of us. And that's not because they've done anything special. Don't get it twisted, they train hard too. But if we play like we were playing in the first quarter, these boys cannot hang with us. They cannot hang with us. Making friends at uni and making friends at lectures, and there's making friends because you're about to kind of fight for your life with them, on, like next to them on a pitch knowing that if you mess up the entire everyone on your side of the ball is 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 going to fall through it's knowing that you're not just playing for yourself you're playing for your team for your friends it's being able to form relationships from playing with people that then move off the pitch as well going to, from watching the nfl to then creating friendships and having this extra set of brothers who you can rely on and trust that you do with kind of everything that's going on in your life and that all starts with a connection of playing a sport that not many people play, but if you do, you'll, you have a deeper understanding of each other through playing the game. My dad told me when I was a kid, when I was playing rugby, if you don't win, don't come home. And winning isn't everything, it's the only thing. And this is just sort of mantras that I was brought up with and fueled me to play sport. I don't know what I would do without it, really. So yeah, it's, it's that, it's the competition element. It's winning, because there's no better feeling than winning. It's just, it's a great buzz. It's a whole melting pot of different fans. It's, it's fun to watch because there's just so many different jerseys and we always play the game of like, okay, spot the 32 jerseys, spot all the team's jerseys and, and then you can rest. Yeah, it'd be a really, really fun day. Right, well, here we are. Tottenham Hotspur Stadium and we are up for a massive game of football today. We've got the Ravens, we've got the Titans, and these lads are all down here. But we'll have a hell of a day. Let's get to it. Well, when you think about like today, it, this is the job. This yes. is a 24 hour a day, paid to, to live, breathe, and be this. For us, it was a hobby. But it was a hobby that we were very lucky to have because I don't know about you guys, I mean, assume we're all here for the same reason. What it did for me mentally, uh, yeah. and the strength that it gave me, and the, the, the things I learned whilst playing football, not just about the game, but about me as a person, and, and like the coping mechanisms, and having healthy habits, like the gym, learning a new sport, it, it, it was great for me. I like we were talking about it outside, how you play the game we try to spot all 32 teams jerseys. The thing I spot is I look for like a Sheffield Giants jersey or an old Sheffield Predators jersey because there's always a few of them knocking around. Yeah, yeah. You'll see like a Cornish Sharks jersey, you're like, oh god, actually. It's on the Phoenix top yeah. or a Warwick Wolves emblem. Yeah, I'm gonna get my Cats jersey on in a minute. So when you've got like the NFL Academy and you've got you've got the NFL investing in our youth product, yeah. the more that that keeps happening, the more the game will grow and the more that the domestic league will grow and then it's, it's only going to get better. 
for me personally, it's something that I find quite cathartic to think about and kind of reflect on. I found over time being open about my mental health has helped me so much because I feel like in all the presentations I do, all the talks I can give, if I can just help one person from my story, that means the world to me. And being able to be here on an NFL pitch after a massive game, the final London game, having been able to talk about something I'm so passionate about. It's all felt just so surreal. The impact this sport has had on me personally has been immense. And I feel like it's a sport that could do the same for so many people if they had the ability to just know about Britball a bit more, get to know the sport and the scene in the UK a bit more so they can start playing or just get to know a team, get to know a community. If they're at university, get to know their university team and then come to games, see the atmosphere. The atmosphere at these games is unbelievable every single time. To take something so negative and so painful, then to be able to bounce back from it using sport and to be able to expose what our stories tell to other people, couldn't have asked for anything better. To, to be on this field now where the pros have done it, to see that although the game is miles apart in terms of athletic talent and money and investment, we're all just people playing sport. We've seen some good football, Guys putting heads, putting face cage on face cage. Some guys getting wiped out on all accounts. It's been an amazing time today, and hopefully we can come here, turn up again, and you know embrace this amazing atmosphere. Because fans, they you know they love the game, we love the game, and yeah, it's a hell of a sport. So tune in and enjoy football.